and there's a reverse echo and welcome to the super fun awesome happy time pedal show my name is Gabor. hey welcome along i'm alex and yeah epic it's the russian plague by kink guitar pedals uh big thank you to mark uh for sending that to us from kink guitar pedals mm, very cool now um this has got two sides of distortion pedals actually before we get into some sounds if you hit like and subscribe on the video and the channel give us a thumbs up leave a comment below um yeah what you think because it's it's pretty loud Massive. it's pretty loud before you plug it in yes so we're going into the cherry tone creme brulee which is kind of like a ac30 matchless dc 30 mm. ac dc one of those yep. um kind of amp uh, into a one by 12 with a selection green bag mic with lewd mtp40 hello lewd people and we also have uh, the angle cab loader. <laughs> That's a picture of it. Um, Star wipe. Yes. <laughs> Star wipe. Yeah. Um, uh, with a 4x12 cabinet sort of blended in together. And I have a 4x12. Um, hello, angle people. Uh, blended in together. And in the intro, I played my uh, slightly highly modified Jamascus um, Jazzmaster in C standard. Mm, slightly highly modified. Yes, yeah, slightly. High. Well, it's different pickups, different bridge. Different trim, different wiring. Cool. <laughs> In C standard, but other than that, it's exactly the same. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, it's got Mick Brearley pickups in it, um, or Brearley pickups, which are made here in Australia, and it's a P90 basically in the bridge and a standard Jazzmaster in the neck. Awesome. Oh, uh, but in 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 C standard tuning. So uh, uh, clean sound is this. We also had the Boss DD8 in a reverse delay setting in the intro, which we might throw in some more DD8 uh, in there as well. Mm. So basically, uh, okay, so two switches, uh, six knobs, and a, not, well, two, two switches like that, and one switch like that, and six knobs. So basically, it's a, it's a rat style pedal, and which is the right hand side. Uh, the big knob is the volume, uh, that's the tone, and that's the gain, and it's the same for this side. That's volume tone gain uh, and then you have an order switch so you can stack them so that's basically the rat side so it's it's mm. it's voiced after vintage rat the other side is voiced after a civil war big muff which is the russian early probably one of the first incarnations one of the first incarnations of a russian soft tech big muff and that's sort of his take on it and then you can stack them and yep. change your order how you stack them and it's super cool so in the in the, in the intro we had both of them together Stacked and reverse delay. Yes. So should we just get in start on the side with the rat? Rat, okay. Yeah. So again, this is a clean sound. Give me some rat. So this is the gain here. That's the gain, yeah. Uh, it's at 12 o'clock. So with a rat, it's the opposite way. So you, you close the yeah, envelope. It's a, it's a filter, not yeah. tone control. Yeah. So you actually darken it as you go up. Yeah, and you open it all the way counterclockwise, I think, is completely open. That's the guy next door playing. No, I'm a big fan of rats. I love me, rats. Me too. Uh, it's, it's one of my favorite circuits. It's and just um, pure rock and roll. That's, it, sounds, it sounds killer, that thing, to me. Especially in when you tune down. To me it brings out extra awesomeness extra rattiness rats like to tune down low Yeah, it's like um, great rhythm tone. Yeah, yeah. that. 
Fun. Should we try with humbuckers real quick? Sure. For fun. It's a twin tone airline and Eastwood guitars. Uh, clean sounds like this. The sound and what you were just kind of almost playing reminds me of the very first chord in the Foo, what's that Foo Fighters song? Everlong. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what the chord is, but it, whatever it, it sounded like. It. It's in B minor? There's a drop into D. Whatever you were playing, I don't know. I, just, <laughs> I did it with a student not long ago. Sure. And, and it's been a while I, since I played that. Yeah, same here. Well, well, student, but anyway, I can't, can't remember. Mm. Okay. This is really quite dark, these pickups. So. Okay. Especially when you've got high gain, I think it needs a bit more definition with the. Like, especially sure. this, this guitar. Sure. As far as rats go, I like that. That's a good rat. It's a good rat. All right, should we, while you're playing, uh, this is really your territory now. Oh, yeah. Uh, Russian fuzz. I'm mad for Russian fuzz. <laughs> so, like I said, this is based on the, on the Civil War uh, fuzz, which is one of the... I think it's the one the one version before they went to the green box. It sort of had... Mm. It was a multicolored thing. It was sort of one of the er, really early Russian fuzzes, um, which are quite sought after now, I believe, Civil War yeah. ones. Anyway... Uh, let's try that. So it's the same. So this volume, tone, and the tone now works like a normal tone control. Um, and this is uh, the gain. <laughs> Now, I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, You're which wrong. you probably will in, in that description below, I believe uh, Dave Gilmore used the Civil War oh, really? muff in co combination with uh, Butler, what do you call it? Tube driver. Correct, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that was his thing. That was a, that, that was that sound, the Civil War muff combined oh. with the tube driver. There you go. There you go. Sounds great. I really dig it. Yeah, they're interesting because they're quite different, but stack they... Well, should we just quickly try them off with the uh, yeah, with the C, the guitar in C? Sure. C standard. That's what it sounded like a second ago, and now it will sound like this. I found with that lower tunings, especially with with muff. Yep. Which is why I guess they work quite well on bass. Mm. But if you tune down of baritone guitars, they just oh, it just has this. Ooh, <laughs> that's the word. Ooh. next door but a lot of bass there
All right, let's stack them. Okay, so toggle switch stacks things. I'm not sure which one's which. I'm going to just say, probably, just visually, I reckon that way it's added to that, and that way it's added to that. But I'm not 100% sure. Well, let's find out with uh, ga- out. gain and volume. Oh, that was cool. Whatever you were doing, that sounded cool. That's the last one, so. Yeah, that's going. So that's that one. The, the yeah. fuzz going into that. Yeah, that when you turn the the volume up on the, because there's a lot of volume there too. I don't know if you oh, yeah. noticed it, but we have them quite low because it's it gets loud. You can tell by the big knobs. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's the how bigger it. the knob, the louder it goes. Yeah. Um, Science. <laughs> Yeah, Sp- speaking of <laughs> it's blowing it out but man it sounds cool it's fat I almost prefer to gain higher on the rat. I like that too. Has more bottom end. If you go the other way, go the other way. Sorry? Let's be more focused in the mid-range. Okay. Let's uh, go the old switcheroo. Okay. That was a brown note. <laughs> that definitely was the brown note. <laughs> Damn wow. Straight. Oh, I like that. Now that sounds, yeah. Yeah. That is cool. Holy moly. Du, 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 du. I need to lie down and eat a sandwich. <laughs> oh, wowzers.
Sorry, that was the, the DD8. Um, whoa, that goes... That gets... Whoa. Mad, mad chubby. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like um, um, monosynth territory. That might be the biggest sound I've ever heard. That's that's humongous. Yeah. I mean, the room's shaking. It literally is shaking. <laughs> Speaker and microphone. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Should we try it on a base? Yeah, I might have to check my house insurance, but we'll get to check that out. <laughs> Be back soon. All right, we're back with the base. Um, looks like that. Long guitar. This is jazz bass. di would straight through the console into uh, Logic. And it sounds subtly. Ratty, or do you want to get muffy? <laughs> but dollar for every time I have it. <laughs> I'd have six dollars. Hey, um, really? <laughs> I'd literally have one. <laughs> Which one? Rat. Rat first? Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's turn the gain down a bit. Let's open the filter up all the way. Yeah, it's almost like yeah, mono the up higher with the darker tone. Well, if you want mono let's yeah. do this one. Muff synth. Counts have gone up. <laughs> My bass plane will do that. <laughs> Vibration. Oh, sure. um, no, no, no. Wowzers. <laughs> that's, that's, wow. I really love that muff on the bass. That's cool. Yeah. Should we um, explore that a bit more? That's what like, monosynth kind of sound yeah. comes in. You kind of have to be like almost melodic bass lines with the, with the fuzz side because it's such a massive sound that you, in, in a mix, in a band, you're just going to dictate the song. Like you've got total control over it. But with the rat side, it's more like that kind of pick, rock and roll, punky thing. <laughs> Yeah, 
Oi! Oi! <laughs> Would you like a go? No. Uh, no, what I'm going to get, I'm going to give it a go, going direct with this. Let's, sure. let, okay, well, let's try that. So this is just, because I always like, I like going direct with guitars. So this is what it sounds like. To me, a lot of times, direct recorded stuff, if you blend it with like a recorded guitar, it just adds this whole different vibe to it. And it just gives, yeah. it, it, it's, it gives it more aggression, I find. It, it adds aggression. I call it the Nine Inch Nails effect, always. funny when you turn a tone up it loses so much there's like a whole sound it loses it's um it's almost like a pivot thing yeah where it gains top end and loses bottom end and vice versa yeah because it, it there's a whole there's a whole sound that's kind of missing once you go past 12 o'clock actually... lose that it's actually thinking before it's almost it has an octave under it like yeah it's sort of pseudo octave thing Both together sounds really good. I've never, never experienced this room shake that much, and it's, ever. <laughs> it's, it's not super loud, it's loud No, but man, the bottom end is just, wow. It's huge. Wow. Wow. I really like this thing. I'm a big fan. I think the graphics are really cool. Yes, very um, cool. And generally, I, I think I mentioned in the unboxing, you can watch the unboxing video that I did here too. Um, I think I mentioned it in that video that I've been following King Guitars on Instagram for a little while because... He puts, yeah, um, you know, Mark puts up um, posts of all the pedals and stuff. And I always like the graphics, and there's always really cool stuff. And then he posts pictures of his rat collection. and Oh, cool. As in not yeah. rodents, but the pedal and um, <laughs> ah. all that sort of stuff. And it, I just, it, it's followed, I'll put a link to the Instagram below as well. There's always cool pictures. Mm. And I really dig that. There's a, another one I really want to try is the Straya pedal. Oh, yeah, sir. Which is, I think, it's a tube streamer. <laughs> Half tube screamer, half uh, or tube screamer style, half um, no, no, half um, kangaroo blues breaker. Oh, um, kangaroo. yeah, um, <laughs> yes, uh, no, I, I really like it. This is this is a really, really good pedal. Um, yeah, especially with the low, lower tune stuff, it just works really well. With that. Fun. Well, well, big thank you, yeah, big thank, thank you, you to Market King Pedals, uh, for sending it out to us and uh, links to everything below. Make sure to go and check him out. Uh, what else should people do while they're checking things yes. out on the internet? There's links below to our Instagram, Facebook, Facebook group chat, and a podcast. You can check all those out. We'll the most link. likely be talking about this very pedal in an yes. upcoming podcast. Um, yeah, thanks for hanging out. And um, yeah, leave comments, questions below. Because um, that was a fun. If you have uh, um, 
one of the original Civil War muffs, or if you have an old rat, or if you use muffs or rats, mm. let us know. Leave a comment below, and uh, thank you so much for watching.